hello friends welcome to this channel so hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video so guys from now onwards i am starting a, a new course called enhancing soft skills and personality so this is week one assignment of that course so friends please watch the video till the end without skipping because if you skip the video you may miss some content and also if i modify any answer in between the video you may not be able to note those changes so please watch the full video friends i hope every solution is 100 percent correct uh, but if you want to suggest me any changes to the solution you can please do that in the comment section so guys everyone uh, before the submission time once again visit the comment section to note those changes if i made anything so i'll mention it in the comment section only so i i hope every solution is 100 percent correct so let's see the first question identify the essential aspects of this course which are different from other courses offered by nptl iit kanpur that you can mention to get people to join this course so for first question i think the uh, there are three answers for this the first uh, solution is option one it emphasizes experiential learning and the next one is fourth one it helps bring a positive change in one's behavior and the other one is it help gain a skill set of overall personality development so so these three are uh, differential i mean these are unique for this course compared to other courses provided by iit kanpur and in nptel platform so i think these three are the answers for first question and moving on to the second one assume that you are the first person in your family who has chosen sports as a career naturally there were mixed ex or opinions on your career choice when your family and friends found out about it what would you do to have a successful career so there are three answers again for this the first one is work hard in the career you have chosen and make a proper plan to make it work next tell yourself that you are capable of pursuing sports so this may or may not be the option as uh, the keep another career option as a backup plan so i don't want to uh, mix unknown answer because it will ruin all the marks uh, partial marks also so i don't want to include uh, unknown solution so i don't i'm not giving this as an option so i, I am only sticking with only these three options guys if anyone are sure about this uh, solution you can ask me in the comment section you can mention it moving on to the third question this week's lectures introduce you to different kinds of mindset what are the two most important types of mindset discussed in the first lecture so in the first lecture they have mentioned about two uh, two types of mindsets the first one is growth mindset and the other one is fixed mindset moving on to the fourth question at the beginning of the year to 2023 you made a resolution to develop your soft skills and personality however your resolution is not on track now what could be the reasons behind the same so for fourth question there are three answers that i have got the first one is you lack proper planning the next one is you go with the flow and do not prepare for anything and the other one is you tend to be present everywhere at every time and lack focus i think these three are the answers moving on to the fifth question identify all the statements that describe mindset so for fifth question uh, i have got two answers for this the first one is it refers to one's attitude and the other one is it is a habitual way of interpreting and responding to situations so i hope these two are the solutions for fifth question and moving on to the sixth one based on your understanding of lectures what ways would you suggest to your younger one to gain success so for sixth question i have got four solutions the first one is always be willing to take risks the second one is do not be deterred by your poor performance 
next one accept others opposing views and the final one it is crucial to kill the negative voice within us so these four are the probable solutions for sixth question according to me and moving on to the seventh one assume you are a man and working in a factory where most workers are men recently the factory owners decided to employ women workers too what would be the right way to treat the women workers to help their increase their productivity so for seventh question uh, the first solution i have got uh, make them feel equal and next uh, make them feel like they belong in the setting next give them the genuine appreciation stereo uh, okay these three are the answers uh, but i am not sure about validating their work so i don't want to mix because if we include a wrong, wrong answer it will uh, don't give even sing, uh, partial mark also so i am sticking with these three options moving on to the eighth one according to the hawthorne effect what increase job satisfaction and productivity so for eighth question i have got four options for this the first one is second option managerial attention next one is creating group involvement and uh, sense of belonging and probably recognition also i think so but uh, these three have directly mentioned in the lectures so i think it's better to go with these three options only or if you want to try it you can also go with recognition also so i am going with four options if you don't want to take any risk you can go with only these three options these three are mentioned directly so i am going with recognition also moving on to the ninth question your friend keeps complaining about his relationship with a critical partner how would help him so for this uh, for ninth question i have got four options again the first option is the first one only next one is third option and this one and also the final option these four are the probable solutions i have got moving on to 10th question first second third fourth and last final one except the this one everything is correct everything are the probable answers except the last but one moving on to 11th one what percentage of your happiness is determined by other people so for 11th question the answer is third option 80% 80% of your happiness is determined by other people it means it depend on uh, other people so for 12th question guys i am not sure but uh, by just seeing these options i think for 12th question the answer is control option a if you differ from my option you can please give the answer in the comment section moving on to 13th one the correct answer for 13th is third option thomas alva edison for 14th one i think the correct answer is fourth option learning from our mistakes for 15th one i think the probable option is third option intellect intelligence and brain cannot be grown with reg regular practice so this is not suggested by them so i think third option is the correct which line indicates a fixed mindset so for this the probable answer is first option i am not meant for this work and 17th one who wrote the book mindset the new psychology of success so for this the answer is first option carol dweck so for 18th question the correct answer is emotional intelligence and 19th one whose famous concept of self actual actualization indicates the highest level of growth need so for this the probable answer is first option abraham maslow 
moving on to 20th one which of the following is not a component of effective communication so for 20th question the answer is confusion moving on to the 21st question body language is a form of non verbal communication it is true moving on to 22nd one a mindset that produces poor results and appear to be harmful to the people around is a desirable no it is not desirable so it is false Twenty third one. Nomophobia means the fear of using mobile phones. Actually, uh, if there are no mobile phones, it is uh, the fear of not having mobile phone. But they give fear of using mobile phones, so it is false. Moving on to twenty fourth one. Stereotype threats in a workplace have no impact on its workers. It is false. and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 25th one someone with a growth mindset would not let failure determine their personality it is true so friends these are the probable solutions for week 1 enhancing soft skills and personality assignment hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share it to your friends i am also doing uh, many more videos and one of them is soft skills assignment soft skill development course you can also view that so friends oh, hope this video helpful for you keep supporting our channel for further more videos like this until then goodbye thank you